Well, that's it for us here at WNEB. I'm John Riley, and I shouldn't even be here. I should be in New York decorating my office and getting my face slapped by high society women. All right, we'll call that a wrap. Good run, everyone. Uh, talent, stay where you're at. I've got some notes. You know, Russell told me that when it comes to news, there's no one more serious than you are. He's a sweetheart. I just find that very hard to believe, though. We just did a segment about a retired drug-sniffing dog that was elected mayor. Yeah, and it was cute. It's cute, but it's not news, not really. You know, it sounds like the plot out of a Don Knotts movie. But, I mean, give me a real piece of news and you can see how serious that I can be. Don Knotts was an actor. Yeah, I know who Don Knotts is. Okay. John, I know it's your last day. Let's just get through this. Get to the end of it, okay? Here's a placeholder, read through it. It'll be on the prompter. Morgan, keep reading the prompter. You're doing great, okay? Don't do what John's doing. Just pay attention, read the script, you got this. Uh, Wait, what is this? Hey, uh, we're on at five, you got a phone call waiting for you? All right. We're on at five, people. Where the hell is makeup? Russ, what the hell is this? The latest on the reporter, read it. I did read it. Russ! Media freelancer Tabitha Green is being laid to rest Wednesday after succumbing to pneumonia. Media freelancer? Really? Tabitha Green was an investigative journalist and an activist. Green had spent an extensive amount of time in the Atlantic and was reportedly gravely ill during her final professional appearance. Sounds like you've got it. Russ, this is bullshit. Her final professional appearance was on a yacht owned by our parent company where she was shot. You don't know that. There were police reports, witnesses. We don't have time for a debate, Riley. You're on in three and a half minutes, and I have work to do. Go tell her viewers. She didn't die, Russ. She was murdered. Probably by the same people that signed our paychecks, the same people who wrote this half-ass cover-up. Um, three minutes to air. This isn't what we're about. We're not entertainers. We're not celebrities. We're journalists. And we have a responsibility to tell the truth. And this isn't truth. Then what is it? I can answer that, Mr. Prescott. Oh, we're on a party line. Who the hell are you? Douglas Crawford, your new station manager. Did you throw my script on the ground? It was a crime of passion. Pick it up. Do you have any idea what you're holding in your hand? Nothing a little two-ply couldn't take care of. You were right to say it isn't truth. Hell, it isn't even news. You know what it is? It's gospel. The gospel according to syntax. In about two minutes, we're going to preach that gospel across all 204 syntax news stations, a whopping 70% market share of American believers. Our viewers aren't that stupid. They won't believe this garbage. You have to make them believe. That's why we hired you. That's why we promoted you. And that's why you're going to do exactly as you're told. You're going to make believers out of them. You're going to kiss New York goodbye. See, it's not just what you say. How you say it makes all the difference. We're live in 60. Time to get to work. The least you can do is tell me the truth. Don't treat me like one of your believers. She was shot, wasn't she? She had her head blown off on a boat by a Chinese national. A guest of ours who had too much to drink. So we make this all go away. What do we get out of it? Come on, I gotta go. If we can show the Chinese government that we can spin this, They'll talk to us about a Syntax Chinese news network. Money. How original. <laughs> it's not just money. The world lives in darkness, Mr. Riley. Syntax is a beacon. It splits that darkness with a guiding light. So does a bug zapper. Time's up, John. Don't forget, a lot of high society women are counting on you. Go do your job. Yeah.
you've all just witnessed the power of persuasion. Our words are the ammunition, but they're propelled by the... Caroline? Uh, 10 seconds to air. Don't answer that. But not answering him is only going to make him more nervous. Even Moses sweat at the burning bush. What does that even mean? It means we're back in the news business, and he's really not going to like it.